thought it was interesting that they were choosing to focus on this distraction versus so many other distractions that we face in workplaces. That's fair. I mean, having personal laptops, like that's filled with distraction. I've heard, I, I don't know the numbers off the top of my head, but there are crazy statistics about how much time is wasted on social media during the work day. Why are we not targeting those issues? And, and that's kind of why I was like, it made me a little uneasy that they were going for more of a freedom of speech component versus like a get off Facebook at work, you know, yeah. approach. Or even just like, it, it's, yeah. it kind of also begs the question or leads to the question of, how much should your workplace be able to control what you're doing at work? You know, because they, they specifically referenced like company yeah. time and property. Well, so so let's talk a little bit about that. So yeah. I would say, I think the reason why they honed in on this one is because they're concerned that if they're, that's promoted or allowed to happen, it's gonna create division amongst the team members. Mm -hmm. Right, because yeah. while we're on the same team, all of a sudden you you view this situation this I view it this way, mm -hmm. and then now all of a sudden we don't like each other. Yeah, which so, would hurt company culture. Yeah, so then now you're getting back into the the yeah. the very very old school traditional at work. You don't talk about you know sex. You don't talk about religion. You don't talk about politics. You know you kind of mm -hmm. keep all that stuff um, away. Now people don't naturally follow those rules, but that's always been the historical yeah. old school way of. Work is work. You're professional. You, you, that kind, of, those kind of topics need to be need to happen off work hours. Yeah. And so that's kind of like the more purity of work, kind of you know old school approach, um, which you know has its merits too in certain ways. If, yeah. Because you are down to what are we really here for? What are we paid to do? Now to your point, you know if it's if you're at using company resources in a company paid space, you know, and you're being paid by the hour. Mm -hmm. They have a lot of say over what you do. Mm -hmm. You know, even the intellectual property that you create. Mm -hmm. If you use their resources, it's their property. Mm -hmm. um, so it's that that part's tricky. People sometimes forget that. Yeah. And I think the other part that is really important to remind people is, you know, when we talk, and I don't mean this to come across as again, this is the view of the work as purity kind of view. Mm -hmm. To have committees that talk about social change, if it's not related to the work you, you're doing, it is a benefit the company provides you. Yeah. Because they're paying you during that time to have those conversations. Mm -hmm. You're not working on company things, and they're paying you to have those conversations. You wouldn't you know, hire a plumber to come over to your house, you know, and you're paying them by the hour, and they say, well, before I get started, I want to sit down and spend an hour talking about my political views. He would say, no, this is a horrible plumber. Like, I don't yeah. want to hear your political view. Or you go to a restaurant and the waiter or waitress sits down and says, you know, before we get started, I've got some views on social change. I really just need to share with you all. You'd say, I'm, but I'm really hungry. Yeah. You know, and so it's, it's uh, it, I think people forget that, you know, they are a company of one and the company that I'm work serving is my customer mm -hmm. and I need to serve my customer really well. I think they treat it more as like, no, you need to provide me all these exactly. benefits and, and things. and. They're your customer, and if you yeah. do really well, they keep they keep promoting you and pay you more money, and it's that's 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 a good thing. I, I think you're right. I think people so often have like have glamorized what the company can do for me instead of what they can do for their company, you yeah. know. Um, and and I think that Basecamp really is kind of taking that head on with these new policies, just kind of reestablishing. Um, almost separating themselves a little bit you know the company i think they're trying to make it less messy the relationship between the company and the employee yeah and, and i see that but then it's often but then it's also kind of begs the question of like you know what what should the line be for all companies in a digital age too because i think another thing that they were getting a lot of criticism for was it almost implied that no political discussions on social media too and should should companies be able to dictate what their employees do online 